What it do, gang? Yes, sir. What it do, beautiful people? How y'all doing today? Yes, today we're going to be building a corner desk. Yes, a corner desk. I know that's pretty cool. Uh, not even just that. Um, I got another concept off the corner desk. I want to build a pyramid table. Um, actually, I've been I've been building hey wood pallets and um, benches, different things of that nature. Um, and I want to um, also show you a bo um, a butt joint. Uh, show you how to um, you know a lot of people want to know how to build like corners. Um, and so you know like people ooh, excuse me people when you see these like two pieces people want to know like how to get corners to connect. Well, boom! I got these are. Um, of course, two by four wood cut down. Two by four is cut down, as y'all see. Um, and I just want to practice with these. Um, if you have a jigsaw um, or even a table saw, there should be some type of measurement somewhere to help you out. Um, and with a jigsaw, you can maneuver the handle. You can swivel it. See if you see it, it's moving as I'm grabbing and swiveling. Excuse me. I can go 45 degree angles each side. And these two by fours are cut at 45 degree angles to connect and make a butt joint. And so when you see this right here, y'all see that? Simple like so. And I just put a hex in the side. But just want to show you, okay, boom. Now this would easily go into a corner. So got this one. That's one butt joint. And you can look up different video methods on butt joints. This video is not for that. This video is to show you the desk. But I want to show you how when I put that desk in a corner, how it will go flush in that corner with no issue up against the wall. Also, a second method would be, guess what? Take these two pieces. Um, you know, excuse me, y'all. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Get the concepts up. It's just different ways. And so I'll just use that other one as a guide. Like, look, boom. It's just different ways you can do it. And so I'll put a screw in this one. And you can also use this, like, as your bracket to go under your table to hold it together. It's a good way to do it. Like so, and it's on the it's on one screw, so it can maneuver. But and of course, I'll beat it down a little bit more. But you see what's going on? They're all just connected by one. But hey, I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. As y'all see, I got the two butt joints together, as you see. I'm used, I used them to be able to start the top of my table. And I made this to be able to see how I wanted it, if it could fit in the corner like I wanted it to.
a desk. Some people wanted to float. So some people were literally mounted in the walls, uh, which is fine if you would like to. But um, it's a temporary spot. Uh, we may build a floating desk for this corner, but this desk is going elsewhere. So we got to put some legs on it. Yeah, we'll show y'all the after effect with the legs on y'all. And then uh, we got a sand down and staining video coming soon. So you'll see the products finished all the way. So look to stay tuned for that video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So as you see here, uh, we have the corner desk sitting. I'm using a stool because I'm getting ready to put the legs on. Okay, so I told you I used the two by four. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. It'll be a lot more crystal clear. Uh, as y'all see, I cut the two by fours down instead of 40 inches. That was tall. But it was gonna be like a little workstation in the corner. I was gonna put a stool up, but it was too high. And uh, the stool I wanted um, was actually uh, a little bit taller than I expected. But um, I cut it down to 30 inches. Might just be simple to put a simple chair up under there. Uh, we'll see, or a regular stool like that. We don't know. Um, but I'm gonna get these legs put on. And uh, I just wanna give y'all a rundown of how I did this. Y'all see how I did the tops. But y'all see these, these are the butt, the butt joints. As y'all see, I just joined those together. And uh, you can rewind the video to see how I did create the butt joints. And uh, pretty self-explanatory because the butt joints uh, are for my corner. And as y'all see, we got a flush look in the corner. It looks so good. And, uh, I'll sand this down and I'm going to hit it with a dark stain. Um, if you don't want to see the holes, y'all, um, if I were you, I would get shorter screws and I would go past flush point or you can use the same screws that I use. As you see, they did not go through. They did not go through. So you can go past flush point, put you some good glue down and then use you some good sawdust to cover the holes up, let it dry, sand it. Boom, I'm giving you two months socks in the game. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, on to the next one. Let's get this little. All right, y'all. I know y'all probably like, okay, when another car video gonna come. So I just wanna go ahead and fill y'all in with what's going on. Okay, so the G is having some problems. I know y'all like, man, yeah. Some of y'all already knew that, you know. Some of y'all know me personally. Some of y'all know my wife personally. So yeah, the G is down, but it's just, it's minor. Um, it's overheating um, and it's losing coolant um, and of course it's at a shop right now and so with it being at a shop um, you know the shops they get to them they can get to it in the line you know in order so that's what we're doing that's what we're going through um, it's a process it's part of the car game I'm not upset you know it's God part of God's plan um, it's a part of the test uh, my challenge my testimony so well, I mean, it's just a part of helping me grow. Um, this channel isn't just based on a car. It's based on motivation, fun, family, um, encouragement. It's based on a lot of things. Um, but I do thank you for supporting me. If you do support me, please like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Um, uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna have a lot of DIY projects, uh, a lot of family fun, a lot of family things, doing things with my kids. Um, my family um, outings, family outings, and um, things to come up. But uh, yeah, y'all, it's a part of the process. Um, new cars have problems, you know. I know people who go buy brand new cars and have problems the first first couple months of having them. Uh, the car that I did buy, it is a used car. The car was in Arizona for years, and then it came here uh, to a different climate. So you know how that goes. Uh, but I appreciate y'all for supporting and understanding and um um you know on God's time the G's gonna be back right in time I'm sure for something greater you know gives me more time to think you know reevaluate some things what's up kiddo it's over it's done okay I got you but yeah y'all we going here to get this food I just want to feel y'all in with the G or what's going on with the G y'all beautiful people wondering how I got the legs in I removed the second slat 
I removed, I didn't remove the slack. I removed the screw from both sides. And what I did, I put a hex screw. I put glue on the two by, on the two by four. I put glue on it. And then I just screwed a hex right down in the middle to attach it. That way, guess what? When it does completely dry, it's gonna stick and it does have a, it has a screw inside of it or a hex screw inside of it. And it's also glue inside the nail. So glue went into the uh, hole, into the nail. So um, it, it's pretty simple, y'all. Don't make nothing hard on yourself. Uh, a lot of people in life will tell you things are hard, but that's because they made it hard. That's their hard. Nothing's hard in life. It's just a challenge. And this is the best challenge that I've done so far. So thank you for watching.